Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Now you're probably wondering why is he using his cell phone? It looks like he's in his chair. It looks like he's at home. What's going on here? That's kind of weird. Why the heck has the guy not shaved? Well, I haven't shaved because I'm lazy. I am sitting in my room at home, and I'm using my phone as opposed to my computer because my computer had a bit of a hiccup today. Um, I called a friend, got his advice on it. Apparently everything is fine. You know, no one's going to die. I didn't push the red button, so you can rest assured on that. So it's simply a matter of getting the computer kind of like back into functioning order, getting a few things squared away, taking care of some stuff, didn't lose any save data, thank goodness, because you can't go back in Dark Souls and play anything. So you get all that lovely Dark Souls footage that you have been missing um, today, and you really haven't been missing it because that's all I've been putting out for like the, what, the last week-ish or so? So addicted to that game. But, so yeah, and sorry, I don't know how to properly record on my phone, so it's going to be all shaky and wobbly. It's like, it's going to be kind of like that, that, that incredibly intelligent and suave song. And it's supposed to be all about the Bible dog on it, so let me get a little bit of that in before this thing is done. I read 2 Kings 15 today, and it basically just kind of went through a list, a very quick list at that, of various kings of Judah and Israel. We have names such as Azariah, such as Azariah, that sounded cool. Azariah, Zechariah, um, Shalom, Menahem, Pekahiah, Pekka, Jotham. All these kings over Israel and Judah. Sorry, I, I feel like the camera, I feel like I'm doing this even worse than I did at camp. I feel like I'm just doing a really terrible job, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all these kings are listed so quick in a rapid succession, like, okay, this king became king after his dad, uh, he served the Lord or he didn't, then the rest of the, the acts that he committed, committed, that sounds like he did a crime, some of them did, uh, those are recorded in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of either Israel or Judah, and then that's it, that's all there is to it, nothing more. And I was thinking as I read this chapter... You know, the fact that they got in a history book and the Bible at that, that's an amazing feat in and of itself. It's something most of us won't accomplish, but good old internet, I'm here forever. That was incredibly creepy. I won't do that again. I probably will. But if I'm going to leave a mark, I'm going to do something. Something of note, maybe even something not of note. I want it to count. I want it to be important. I don't just want to be a footnote. In anyone's life, I don't want to just be a footnote in history. I don't want to be a footnote to you guys. Where's my hand in this camera? I think that's about right. I want to do something that lasts. I want to do something that makes a difference. I want to be important. And I don't think that's egotistical or proud or arrogant or narcissistic to want. I think that's something we should probably all want. We want our lives to count. We want to be important. We want to matter in this world, and we don't just want to be a footnote, like, oh yeah, there they are, and poof, there we're gone. Yeah, we're all going to be forgotten eventually one day, uh, except for like the really major historical figures. I understand that, and I'm totally fine with that, but the people that I do talk to, and the people that I do influence, and the things that I do do in this life, I want them to count. I want them to count big time. And that's the goal of the YouTube channel. I know it's just a bunch of Dark Souls and preaching videos right now. And once Dark Souls is over, still there's going to be video games and preaching videos. But I want those to matter. I want to be more than just a footnote in the life of my subscribers. I think my hand was a little bit, it was a little bit better. They're not great. Um, and I want to be more than just a footnote in the lives of the people that I know and love. I, I want to make this thing called life count. And I think that I think that's perfectly biblical. You look at the guys who really served the Lord and really loved Him; they merited more than just a few words in the Bible. And that that's the goal: to be a great one, not just a one. And I think that should be the goal of all of our lives. And I think God wants something pretty much along those lines for each and every one of His children. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.